GETTYDEFENCE Public Relations Gavin Williamson halted the plans critics described the politically correct overhaul to waste millions of pounds to ditch its crest, depicting cross swords, a crown and a lion, as futile lunacy, and last night Mr Williamson hit back at the market research which described the slogan as dated, elitist and non-inclusive, saying the army was the best of the best, and plans have now been put on hold, and mod spokesman said, the defence secretary believes that the British Army is the best of the best and has put these proposals on hold. Mr Williamson's dramatic intervention is set to strain the already sour relationship between the British Army and government. Mod the slogan was branded elitist. The defence secretary believes that the British Army is the best of the best and has put these proposals on hold a mod spokesman a senior official told the Mail on Sunday, by stepping in to block the branding changes at such a late hour he risks showing contempt for the Army's chain of command, a leaked document from the Ministry of Defence, written by the Army's most senior officer, General Sir Nick Carter, said market research showed the slogan did not resonate with many of our key audiences, according to the newspaper. The project, spearheaded by General Sir Nick Carter, added market research in May. 17th found that Be the Best did not resonate with many of our key audiences and was considered dated, elitist and non-inclusive. The ECAB Executive Committee of the Army Board therefore agreed that its use should be phased out as soon as affordably possible. The retirement of Be the Best will commence immediately with all planned refreshes of Be the Best branded material cancelled in favour of brand compliant products. Chairman of the Commons Defence Select Committee, Julian Lewis, had blasted the plans and said that being the best was nothing to be ashamed of. He said it is a matter for pride and a very positive message to transmit. Why should we be afraid of excellence when we are constantly saying our armed forces are the best in the world? The former commander of UK troops in Afghanistan added that it was lunacy to squander money on a futile branding project when there was already pressure on the defence budget. The mod said rebranding would cost £520,000, while market research is estimated to have cost £1.5 million according to industry experts. Last night, the mod said like all organisations we adapt our brand to make sure it is up to date. Be the best has been used since 1993 and, following detailed research, we've decided to update our branding at a cost of £520,000.